What's up guys? We're gonna do a full day of eating. Sorry about the background noise. Uh, we're heating up my oven for some sourdough bread. And since it's a gas oven, produces a lot of CO2. So I got like a bunch of fans circulating. Like I got all the windows open in the house. I got that fan blowing air from the outside in just to make sure that, you know, the CO2 levels in here don't get too high. Uh, normally I turn this on too and leave that on, but I mean, that's even louder. But yeah, that's why it's noisy. Uh, we're gonna get started on preparing breakfast and show you guys what's up. So we have our Iberico breakfast sausage going courtesy of Frankie's Free Range Meats. And something new to you guys, these are oat pancakes. Uh, basically half pancake batter, half quick oats. I put a little uh, vanilla sugar in there. And normally pancakes are too dense. They tend to cause like dysbiosis, very high in sugar. But by adding oats to them, increases the fiber, increases the gut motility. Uh, we're gonna see how these turn out. I tried sourdough the other night and I didn't like the sourness too much. So we'll see how these are. Well, this is a mess. Something in these pancakes, they just like glue to the pan. I put, I put a lot of oil in here and this is a nonstick pan, but um, this is not looking good. Yeah, that was quite a mess. So I'm gonna have to critique that recipe a few more times before I show you guys how to make it. I think the batter was just a little dry and it absorbed a lot of the oil, so it stuck to the pan. But here we have the Iberico breakfast sausage. Delicious, healthy source of protein you can really have. You know, just the quality of everything in there, the fast, the minerals, the cholesterol, really, really excellent for you. We got our starch, fiber, additional mineral source, really feed the gut bacteria. I will put a little bit of organic maple syrup on this. We should get maple syrup on the, the foods website. Maybe we'll get some on there. These pancakes are really good with like a smaller amount of syrup. Cause like most people douse their pancakes with syrup just to like cover up the flavor. But since the quality of the ingredients in the pancakes is so high, uh, it's really good on their own even without syrup. We got a big jar of kefir grains, also on Frankie's Fury Foods. I'm having these with the meal instead of water kefir. So we're not drinking water kefir, but we're gonna have a lot of kefir grains. We'll have a lot of mastic at the end of the meal. And as always, guys, I have my honey crisp apple for a little extra sugar, some dessert. These sausages are my favorite. Really delicious. Moment of truth, how is the pancake? These I like. These are delicious. I told you guys I made a sourdough one yesterday. So I put the sourdough kosher and let it sit overnight. Just too sour, you know? Not really my thing. But these are delicious, so I'm definitely gonna do a recipe for you guys uh, maybe in like two or three weeks on these oat pancakes. But you basically just make a healthy pancake recipe and then put like equal parts quick oats in it and then add more water and let it sit overnight so the oats hydrate. And the reason you do that is because you know normal white flour pancakes don't have a good amount of fiber so it's going to ruin your gut motility, hard on the liver, and pancakes made with whole wheat flour just don't taste good. So. The oats are a nice solution. So I'm gonna take three tablespoons of kefir grains right now. I mean, you could be reasonable and not fill your whole mouth up with kefir grains and choke them down, but I guess we're more about efficiency. So I'm kind of meticulous, guys, with how I eat. Like I'll have two bites of sausage, I'll have the pancake, and then I'll have the keeper grains. So what I do is protein, starch, keeper grains. Usually at least a tablespoon between the meal.
Now I've been eating a jar of these a day uh, because like when I moved, I stopped the water kefir for a while and my gut got kind of messed up again. And now I'm at the point where I need to take like a lot of probiotics just to kind of keep things in check. And normally this would be very expensive to do, but we do have affordable kefir grains on frankiestrainfood.com. Probably about half the price of other websites. So again, add a bite of sausage, some pancake, some more kefir grains. Main reason I'm not drinking water kefir right now is because I messed up my batch at home. I put in raisins that had sulfur dioxide on them and it, it made the batch really weird and funky. So I had to basically just throw it all out and uh, I'm waiting on my new kefir batch. So I should be drinking it in the next day or two. But we're gonna take some supplements. So here I have with breakfast zinc, magnesium, 15 milligrams of zinc in one capsule, 100 milligrams of magnesium in one capsule, and we're gonna do some K2, so. One of each of the zinc and the magnesium. I'm gonna take about half a dropper of K2. I like taking my mineral and vitamin supplements at breakfast because, you know, if my liver needs to process them, if they're gonna interrupt my sleep, it's not gonna happen later in the day. So the main thing I've been doing lately that's different, and I think I've said this before in the past few day of eating, is I have been better with my portions, like I'm not overeating anymore. Hopefully that fan in the background isn't too bad. Sorry about forgetting about the noise, guys. And uh, one thing you have to keep in mind is when your liver is impaired, when your liver function isn't ideal, it's focusing on detoxing. So right now, my organs still aren't super efficient at digesting food. So I need to assist them with probiotics. Uh, I should probably even be taking some digestive enzymes right now, the macronutrient enzymes. I'm gonna try taking, uh, taking it tomorrow. And this is a really, really good base of safe vitamins and minerals to supplement. You know, basically the zinc, magnesium, and K2, and also uh, vitamin C and B complex are two very safe things to supplement. So like tomorrow, I'll have a vitamin C and a B complex uh, with breakfast. Because any of the other minerals or vitamins we have on organ supplements can't be used as like recklessly, like certain minerals and vitamin D and, and certain things, you know, you're testing your blood work, you're testing your hormonal analysis, you're seeing if you actually need them, whereas the body's demand for zinc, magnesium, and K2 is so high, it's hard to, to go wrong taking them. We did that video on vitamin K yesterday. You guys missed it, very eye-opening. You know, it's like a perfect day to tan today and the weather said the sky was clear, but there are some clouds. So, mid, late September, really nice, cool weather. The sun's usually out. This is where you should be trying to get like a lot of sun if you can but you know with all the stuff they spray in the air the sun usually is now i don't know why i created a hyper palatable pancake so i actually don't eat foods that combine fat and sugar like this that taste really good yeah this is really tasty i'm gonna stop eating so end of the meal i'm gonna have that's over i kind of did overkill on the keeper brains but We'll have some more. Now, I'm probably taking twice as much kefir grains as I actually need. It's a little overkill. Instead of having like one tablespoon after every few bites of food, I could probably do a bit less. And one thing you'll notice in your bowel movements is you'll see the actual kefir grains. They don't get digested. So that means that this live active bacteria is going through your entire digestive system, probiotically inhibiting bad stuff. You know, a lot of people ask, hey Frank, is, is uh, your stomach acidity impaired or does the stomach acidity kill the probiotics? Eat these kefir grains, 
and when you see them in your bowel movement, obviously your stomach acid isn't as volatile as you think it is. These Honeycrisp apples, I like a lot. I bought gala apples last week. I didn't even want to eat them. They're so bad. And I've been doing like half an apple per meal instead of a whole apple most of the time. Very end of the meal. We had a few pieces of apple. Now I'm going to have half a teaspoon of ground up massive powder. We have this on organsupplements.com as well. And uh, I restocked the big, I think it's like 200 gram bags if you guys want the better price. But uh, that's gonna be it for breakfast, guys. You know, I've been doing this diet for three years now and it's taken me a, a very long time to figure out how to be creative and have tasty and delicious foods while still recovering my liver health. So, you know, my, my goal with my business is now has been to really always make people as healthy as possible but you know we want the highest quality product without compromising on stuff and we want it to taste good and be delicious as well um, so we'll see you guys for lunch maybe if i lay out in the sun long enough uh, some alien will abduct me and i won't have to film anymore today all right guys time for lunch we're gonna do the same thing we've been having for like god knows how long uh, protein source is going to be Iberical pork tenderloin and then just the bread with the wiping dip. This actually looks like beef. If you gave this to someone and all they could do is see it, you know, without smelling it or tasting it, it looks exactly like beef. So uh, I took my pork tenderloin yesterday, uh, just salted it and put it in this towel because, you know, I can't eat the whole package at once. This is the Iberical pork tenderloin that we have on the website. So we just got our pan heating up. I'm going to have... Maybe four of these medallions. Just move them around a little bit of oil. This is on the food website too. And then these three I'm just gonna put back in the fridge for lunch tomorrow. So I've been cooking all my meat the same lately. I get one side browned as quickly as possible, which usually takes about 20 or 30 seconds. Then I flip everything over, we cover it, and then we turn the heat off. And the uh, residual heat in the pan is gonna brown the other side and finish cooking the inside. So we have our bread, we're just gonna slice it up. And then the white bean puree is in the fridge. We're just gonna put a little bit of this in our bowl. If I don't have the bean puree ready, what I'll actually do is I'll take a can or a jar that is, of the jovial cannellini beans and I'll saute those in the pork fat and juices that were in here and then I'll have that on the side with the bread. Probably a little too much food. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this. But let's do a quick overview of everything. So we have our Iberico pork tenderloin, which as you guys know, animal nutrition in every meal is very important for B vitamins, proteins, amino acids, overall cellular health, certain minerals, omega fatty acids. We have the homemade sourdough bread. That's our dense caloric starch source for this meal. And then the white bean puree with the artichokes is our soluble fiber and more minerals. Key for grains with the meal, we're gonna do the same thing again, maybe a little bit less, uh, less this time, we're not gonna have as much. And then we have the other half of the apple. I also have some potato chips that I'll have a few bites of. Uh, we actually ran out of these on them on Frankie Strange Foods, but we should have some more next week for you guys, hopefully. I'm still trying to keep my fat intake low, so I'm not going too crazy on the potato chips. So then just have the bread, dipped in the bean puree. The mushroom chips are okay. They're slightly earthy. We're gonna add a little more mushroom and some other spices to it. Give it a little more flavor. Because right now there's just like a slightly earthy aftertaste. The vinegar ones are my favorite. I like them a lot. So instead of having like two tablespoons or like a giant tablespoon after every bite of the kefir grains, I'm just gonna have like a teaspoon. 
Potato chips are very high in electrolytes, potassium and sodium. So the goal for every meal is the same. The body needs a certain amount of B vitamins and amino acids to detox. That's why we have the high quality protein in every meal. But more importantly, you need a very large amount of starch and fiber to give those bile acids something to soak into. So the way the liver is detoxing, it's releasing bile. Those bile acids are mostly reabsorbed, but if you have enough starch and fiber, a lot of starch and fiber in the digestive system, more of them will be excreted and that will greatly improve your detoxability. So the starch, the fiber, the legumes, the apple, the sugar, each of these individual components is something that bile acids and toxins kind of latch onto to be excreted. And the reason we need so many probiotics like water kefir and water kefir grains is when you have toxic bile acids, high iron levels, all these high quality foods in your digestive system combined with like the liver impairment, it gives candida like a real opportunity and very easy to overgrow. So by having the probiotics, you can kind of keep everything in check and not have to worry about that. And with the impaired liver function, your body isn't necessarily that efficient in assimilating all of the nutrients from the food. So I'm not really absorbing all the minerals and everything, B vitamins that I need to be, vitamin K2, whatever. That's why you have to supplement things here and there. Also why it's very important to eat pretty frequently because after that meal sits in your stomach, for four, five, six hours, it kind of sits there. And since it's not moving, the gum motility is down, you're reabsorbing instead of excreting. So by eating frequently and constantly pushing the food out, you're ensuring that you know less bile and less toxins get reabsorbed in the digestive tract because you always have something new for the liver to soak the toxins into. Also has a lot to do with hydration because if you don't drink enough water, the gut motility will halt. The only reason you don't want to eat too much fat is because the liver will release even more bile. And if too much comes out and too many toxins come out, you usually end up getting diarrhea, very acidic bowel movement. If you have enough starch and fiber to soak the fat, you'll be fine, but usually Fat is an appetite suppressant, so you're not eating as much of the starch and the fiber. Like if I had the chips with the bean dip, I'd probably be fine. Like I don't really need the bread. And I've said this a lot before, but just to give some of you a reminder, if you can't eat carbs, bread, whatever it is, it's because you don't have the right bacteria in your stomach. So you take probiotics, you can eat carbs again. Well, that's it for the main part of the meal. So I'm going to save the steak for tomorrow. I need like a pig or a dog or something, but I don't usually have that many leftovers. So we got the other half of the apple from breakfast. So end of the meal, teaspoon of mastic gum. All right, so that's it for lunch. Ate a little more than I should have today probably, but for your food volume, you always wanna just pay attention to your bowel movements. You know, if you have very large bowel movements, then you know you're eating too much or the wrong ratios of foods. So you wanna reduce that. So that's it for lunch, guys. Uh, I guess we'll see you for dinner. All right, guys, it's time for dinner. Let me show you what we're having. So we got two pans on the stove, some water, bringing to a boil for the udon noodles. And then we have the pan here that we're gonna sear the halibut in. These are organic wheat flour noodles. We have these on frankiestreamfoods.com. This is the halibut from frankiestreamfoods.com, probably my favorite fish in general. And we're going to bread that in just a little bit of whole wheat pastry flour. I like this because it's just a finer texture. It, it sticks to the fish a little better. Uh, and sear it in the liquid coconut oil. And then those udon noodles are going to go in some of our white bean and artichoke puree with a few tablespoons of the collagen broth from Frankie's Range Meat. All right, guys, final meal of the day. We have our beautiful pan-seared halibut, very simple and fast. 
just be careful. It's super delicate fish. I just get a crust on one side, flip it over, cover the pan and take it off the heat. And then five minutes with that steam in the pan, it finishes cooking. You don't even need direct heat. The udon noodles with the white bean artichoke and collagen broth it is delicious, simple and healthy. So we have protein, high quality amino acids, some omega-3 and the halibut, and it's a white fish. So very little iron, not as hard on the liver, great for digestion before bed, mainly. And then this is the only pasta noodle I can actually eat. And we add the white bean puree for some fiber, a little bit of oil for some more flavor, and the collagen broth for some more amino acids. Honey crisp apple as usual for dessert. Main difference this meal is we are not going to have water kefir or water kefir grains. We're just going to have mastic gum. So I'll have it at the start, in the middle, and at the end of the meal, about half a teaspoon. Try a piece of the halibut. Very good, plain, basically no fish flavor some of our noodles. Even though the halibut's expensive, it's probably three nights worth of dinner for me per package, so. Same with the pork tenderloin. You know, even if I'm spending 40 bucks on, 50 bucks on a package of pork tenderloin, it lasts me three days worth of lunch, so. So halfway done with dinner, have half teaspoon of massive gum. teaspoon of mastic gum at the end. Now at night I try to finish the apple because like if I leave it on the table overnight for 10, 12 hours, it really dries out. Honey crisp apples are very acidic, which balances out the sweetness really well. Yeah, we got some blood work done. I don't know if I'm gonna do a video on it. I'm just double checking some serum mineral levels. Magnesium and calcium looked okay. Copper was a little high on the range and zinc was low. So one of my viewers suggested that, so I figured I'd look into it and I guess we're gonna have to supplement a little zinc for some time. But hopefully, you know, another year and a half, two years on this diet and I'm, I'm really at that point where I'm feeling a lot better. Can't imagine how much longer it's gonna take the detox. Obviously, the stress and work from all the business stuff is has definitely taken its toll. Uh, you know, if I was smart, I would have just dropped it all a few years ago and said, screw it. You know, that would have been the smart thing to do. That's what I would do if I had a time machine. But, you know, why is this? I'm moving this camera because it keeps going in and out of focus. Yeah, hopefully it's not too annoying. I don't know why my phone camera keeps going out of focus. Uh, but you guys can check out frank com for all of my interesting businesses. Frankie Syringe Meats for the high-quality animal products. Frankie Syringe Foods for all the non-perishable stuff. Uh, we have organ supplements for things like the, uh, the K2, magnesium, zinc, everything you guys saw, and a whole bunch of other supplements. We fixed the lemon light. Wi-Fi shielding. I'm always wearing my protective clothing, guys. Frankie's Naturals. Lots of natural cleaning, hygiene, cosmetic products. And... Um, did I miss one? No, I think we actually got them all. But you guys can also drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell and share the video as much as you can. So when these people copy me, they know, uh, they know where the original information was from as if that's ever gonna happen.